All right, so this is a continuation on the graphs of logarithm. Um, that's 4.3, but here we want to see how we can extract the equation from the graph itself. So um, here we have about four cases here. If your graph is this increasing, you can say this is a general notation for it, log to base A, X minus vertical asymptote plus K. If it is decreasing, this is the general one, either this, yeah, or this one. So we just have to look at the case that we are dealing with based on the shape of the graph. Then we can use this. So for example, this one, example 12 says, find the equation of each of the following logarithm. So to find the equation of this, you just need to check. If you look at this now, the A is in the form of the what? This fourth case here, this one, it is increasing. So it means our Y is log to base one over A, then vertical asymptote minus X plus what? Plus K. So for logarithmic graph, we just need to get vertical asymptotes and the value of k, and we can easily find a. So what is vertical asymptote here? If you look at where it cuts, this is where the graph is cutting. And here is going to be, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So the vertical asymptote is 3. So we'll have log to base 1 over a of 3 minus x plus k. So this is our y. Now to get k, how do you get k? You just move back from the vertical asymptote, you move back a little, one unit, and then just, just take a vertical line and trace until you touch the curve. You touch the green curve at this point. So you can see that which point is this? This point is nothing but 2 and 0. So take the what the y value as your k. So it means that our k is equals to zero. So I'll repeat that again. You come back. Why are we coming to the left? We are coming to the left because you see that the vertical asymptote is to the right. This is three and this is one. This is two. The vertical asymptote is to the right of the graph. So you can come back one unit to the left, then you trace a, a vertical line until you touch the graph. So this is the only point where it's touching because it's one-to-one, -one. Uh, not because it's a function, this is the function. Um, so it, it will touch the graph only at one point. It can't touch more than one point since it's a, it's a logarithmic function. So this is two zero, take the K value as zero. K value, the, the value of the y coordinate is our k value. So it means k is zero. So we'll just have y is log to base one over a. This is three minus x plus a zero, which we can just write down as log one over a, three minus x. Now take any other point. As you can see from the question, there is a point given to us, one and minus one. So we'll use this to find the value of a. This means that y is minus one. And then we have x is what? x is one, so we have this. So it means we have minus one is equals to log to base one over a of two, right? So clearly this means that one over a to power minus one is equals to two. And one over one over a to the power minus one would just be what would just be a. So it means that a is equals to two. So if a is equals to two, what does that mean? It means the final so the final answer here for this graph would just be log to base one over two, then three minus x. So you just substitute it back into the, the general thing here. You just put the value back. Now let's do let's look at B. For B, um, we can we can look back and look at B. 
B is what is this decreasing. So B is in the form of what Y is log to base one over A, X minus vertical asymptote plus what plus K. So what is the vertical asymptote here? We look at this graph very well. We'll see that the vertical asymptote is at, uh, I think, minus one, right? Yes, it's minus one. So minus one. So it means we'll have log to base one over A. This will be X minus minus one plus now what what is k if you look at to get k here since the vertical asymptote is as minus one just go one unit to the right in this case you are going to the right because the vertical asymptote is to the left so one unit right is here now if you try to trace up you see we're going to touch the curve at this point and what is this point this is the point of x is equals to zero and k and y is what y is minus one so it means that the k is equals to what minus one so here we just need to remove this and put minus one here all right so this is y is equals to then uh, which means that y is just going to be log to base half is going to be x plus one minus one so we need to find what is a by taking another point we can take this point um, which point can we use Yes, so we can take this point here, right? Now, what is this point? Now, if you take this point, we will see that what we can we can we can use this point here. Say this point is clearly is clearly given as minus two over three and zero so the point is given to us this blue one so it means y is zero x is what two over three uh, if you substitute that it means we're using this point here the points minus two over three and zero so it means y is what let me write it here y is zero log one over a x is minus 2 over 3 plus 1 then everything minus 1 right so here this you can transfer this this is 1 will be log 1 over a and uh, what is this this is just 1 over 3 Yes, because you have minus 2 over 3 plus 3 will be 1 over 3. And clearly from here, we can see that 1 over A. Uh, what does this mean? This means that 1 over A is equal to 1 over 3. So A is just going to be, A is just going to be 3. So it means that this graph you are seeing here is nothing but y is log to base 1 over 3, x plus 1, then minus 1. Yeah. So let's do c now. See. So for C, you can see that um, C is which form? Um, here, you can see C is nothing but the third case here, where you have log to base A. So Y is log to base A, 
vertical asymptote minus x plus what? Plus k. Vertical asymptote is clear. So this is log to base a. The vertical asymptote here is what is x equals to 2, right? Yes, so this is 2 minus x plus k. Now, what is k? Um, since the vertical asymptote is 2, what do we do in this case? We can come to the left because the graph is to the left of the vertical asymptote. And then you draw a line. You will see it will touch the curve because when you come back one unit, remember x here is 2, right? If I come back one unit, it means I'll be on x is equal to 1. So just draw a line straight. So which line, which point is this? This point becomes the same as 1, 2. So you take the y coordinate, which is our k. So our k is 2. So here will be plus 2, right? So that means that we can easily take, uh, so here the vertical asymptotes is x is equals to two. So we can take this point, we need a point now we can use in order to find this. So we can use this point here. And what is this point here? This point is x is equals to zero and y is equals to three. So this will be log to base, uh, what does that mean? It means that your y is three, right? And what is a is what we need now. And this would be two minus x, which is zero plus two. So you will have three minus two is equals to log to base a of two. So this is just one is equals to log to base a of two. And this simply means that a is equals to two. So it means that the answer here for this one is nothing but y is equals to log of two, two minus x plus two. So one more, that is the D. So here we want to find what we still want to find what is the value, the equation from the graph. So if you're looking at this, this is the D. The first thing is just like we said is you need to know which form is it. This is increasing, is going. So this is definitely, it looks like the form Y is equals to log to base a of x minus vertical asymptote plus what plus k so here you see that uh, the vertical asymptote is is clear so this is log to base a a vertical asymptote here is just it's just x equals to one so this is minus one plus now since this is the vertical asymptote if this is one since the graph is to the right, I just need to go this way, right? So if you go this way now, we can find this point. If you trace, you will touch this point here. So it means that our k is equals to what? Minus one, right? Because that is the value of y, okay? So k is minus one. So it means that this is going to be minus one here. Yeah. All right, then we can look for a point. Which point can we use? We can use this point here. This is the point where it crosses the x-axis. So this is going to be a nice point. So we can use the point zero, one, no, one, two, three. So this is the point three, three, zero, right? And uh, what does that mean? It means y is equals to zero 
So it means y is zero, then you have log to base a of x is three. So this is three minus one, everything minus one. We take minus one to this side, this is one, is equals to log to base a of what? Of two. Now this will become a to power one, which is equals to two. So put it back, it means the graph is of log a x minus one, then minus one. Ooh. So this is um, how to get the equation from the graph. You only need to care about the vertical asymptote and the value of a, which represent the vertical shift. So how do you get k? Just move by either front or one unit back from your what vertical asymptote. Then just draw a vertical line until you touch the curve. The y coordinate of the point that you touch is the k. So, so I hope that this is clear. If you have any question, you can put it in the comment section. Thank you for watching.